the MGF of a negative binomial. The negative binomial is applied when we're interested in the number of attempts until we get the first R successes. If we're interested in such a question, this thing is negative binomial parameter R, which is the number of successes, and P, which is the chance of success in a, in a trial. Okay, and then this is the MGF. Now, two things to note. First is that this MGF formula could be slightly different to what you're looking at because it depends on how you define this x. x here is defined as number of attempts to the r successes. The other way to define x, which makes it still negative binomial, is let x be the number of failures till we get r successes. Okay. So if you look at Wikipedia or something, just look out for how is it defining the random variable. In any case, we're interested in the number, something to do with the number of goes that you need until you get so many successes. All right, so like tossing a coin, how many times do you have to toss a coin to get 10 heads? That's the kind of thing we use the negative binomial for. Second thing I want to point out is that this MGF here is something where it's the power of R, and R is the number of successes, but this thing in here, in the bracket, this is actually the MGF of a geometric distribution. Again, depending on how you define the random variable, because for geometric, X is the number of successes until it's the number of goes until the first success or number of failures until the first success. It depends on how, again, you define uh, the ca how you're counting it. Are you counting the number of trials to the first success or number of failures to the first success? In any case, the point to note is that this MGF of negative binomial is related to the MGF of a geometric, and this gives us a quick and dirty way, well, not dirty, it's a nice way to find the MGF of a negative binomial. And now this quick way I'm going to show you kind of um, doesn't doesn't kind of raise the question of where does the name where does this distribution get its name from the negative binomial all right um, but I'm not interested in that question I'm interested in how to get the MGF and this is the quickest way that you're going to be able to do it suppose well, that supposes you already know the MGF of a geometric of course it's this look basically. Um, x, which is, the s which is the sum of, x here is the sum of r independent geometric random variables. So y1 denotes the number of attempts to get your first success, y2 denotes an number of attempts to get your first success and so on. So if you add them all R of them up, that will be number of attempts, the total number of attempts to get R successes. So I'll say it one more time because I, I don't want to write it down, is that uh, geometric and negative binomial is related as follows. A negative binomial is the sum of R independent geometric random variables. So here X is going to be negative binomial R and P because I should put where each of these YI guys are geometric with parameter P and the Y's are independent. Why does that give me a quick way? Because I know the MGF of each of these Y's, they're all the same so let's just call it Y so for each y, we know that it looks like this, a proof that I've done in a previous video. 1 minus q e to the t. Therefore, using the uh, formula that the MGF of a sum of n independent 
random variables is equal to the product of each of the MGFs for each of these guys. So that's going to be yt, and they're all the same. So basically, it's this raised to the power of however many you've got, which is r. So proof done. e to the t, or minus q e to the t, raised to the power r. And just like for the geometrics, we've got that fraction there, so it could end up divided by zero. This thing will be fine so long as t is less than minus log of one minus p, i.e. q. Um, again, this is something that I've done in detail for the geometric distribution. Okay, so that's negative binomial short and sweet.